Hello, I'm going to show you how to configure your IP security camera with an Android device. But before we configure an Android app, we need to make sure some configurations are correct on our camera. So I'm going to log into my camera right now. Once I logged in, I'm going to click on device config. And then I'm going to click on system net service and then click on UBNP okay once you are here we need to make sure the service is enabled if it's not enabled you need to take the box press ok restart your camera and come back here again and double check the numbers are showing as per my screen once you have configured your IB camera settings now we can go back to our Android device and set up our iBcam viewer app to be able to work with our camera so I'm going to open it now click on add and then choose IB camera and then keep the make an unknown brand and the model I'm going to change it and we need to look for DVR 9008 HV and I'm going to enter the IB address of my camera then we enter our IB address which is the local IB address of the camera and then we enter the TC port which is the default one 34567 and just put one for the channel and enter the username which is admin and then my password then I'm going to click on test to test the connection and it says successfully retrieved image from camera press ok and then click on save and then I'm going to click back to view the camera and here as you can see the camera in night vision it's actually installed like around uh, 40 meters away from the vehicles then I'm going to click on options and then click on manage cameras and now I'm going to add the same camera again but I want to be able to view it over internet connection so everything should be the same except the IB address we should use a public IB address instead of internal IB address so I'm going to open the browser and to do this uh, just open your browser and then type what's my IB address or what's my IB and then it should show you the public IB address just select it and then I'm going to click on copy and then I'm going to go back to my IB cam viewer app and paste the IB address and enter the same TC port which is 34567 and it's channel 1 and username and password should remain the same and click on test as you can see it was successfully connected click on before we save the camera I'm just going to rename it so I'm going to call it camera over internet and then I'm going to click on save and now I have the first camera I'm going to click edit and I'm going to call it a camera local network And then I'm going to click on save. Now we have both cameras here on the list and both are ticked. Click back. And then we have both cameras down there as you can see local camera network. And here camera over internet. Both of them are working. Then now click on menu. And click on manage cameras. And then I'm going to untick the local camera network click back 
and we have here only one camera which is uh, one over the internet and now I'm going to click on menu and click on manage cameras <coughs> and then take the local camera and untick the over internet click back and now we see the local camera is connected and working good and now you should be able to view your camera over the internet and over your local connection without any problem and you don't need to do a port forwarding or anything like this as the camera open uh, ports in your router by itself thanks for watching if you have any question please feel free to ask